We're joined by former Senator Jim DeMint. You just started a new group. Tell me about it. Tell me what it's going to do. Now, Kevin, the question I hear more around the country than any other question is what happens to conservatives once they get to Washington or what happens to any of the politicians. And I can tell you from being in the House, it's because once you get there, you're in your foxhole, everybody's firing at you, and everything about Washington pushes against conservative ideas of limited government and balanced budgets. What we're doing with the Conservative Partnership Institute is creating a support group for members of Congress and their staff. Uh, we're going to have a job bank. We're going to constantly train staff because Washington is very staff driven. Really, a lot of 20 year olds are running <laughs> the country because the congressmen and senators get so busy. So, we want to make sure from intern to chief of staff that these folks are trained not only in how to run an office, but what are the parliamentary procedures, right. how does the House and Senate work together, and then get these people together. We've already been doing that on the health care issue, House and Senate staff, get them together. What I'm going to do is what I did some when I was in the Senate is get House uh, conservatives, Senate conservative members, senators, congressmen together informally develop some camaraderie because the thing that I think we can do to help the country the most is for conservatives to come together and have a consensus on what needs to be done. Let's talk about health care because yesterday on that vote on a motion to proceed we saw Senators Rand Paul, Senators Mike Lee, Senator Ted Cruz, your guys yeah. voting to advance on a motion to proceed but I spoke with an aide on the House Freedom Caucus who said that if that skinny version of the health care legislation advances onward to the House, yeah. that this is then on arrival. Well, I don't think it's going to advance unless the Democrats vote for it, and I don't think they will. But I, I so can you support a skinny version? No, it makes no sense at all. And, and, and lets it some kind of shell to try to get the conference with the House where they can build a real repeal bill. The, the Republicans promised to repeal Obamacare and the mistake that they've made is, is just not repealing it and then going on to reforming the health care system in a way that we know needs to be done. As long as there's a repeal in the bill, you can't get one Democrat to help you. But you could get Democrats to help expand Medicaid or create more subsidies or give bailouts to insurance companies, all those things that some of the Republican moderates want. Uh, they could get Democrat support. So the, the way this has been done has been pretty disappointing. All right, I want to talk to you about one of your friends, and that is Attorney General Jeff Sessions, mm -hmm. the president. His top advisors have been publicly putting distance between Attorney General Jeff Sessions, uh, saying that he's not going after Democrats, not investigating Hillary Clinton enough. Should the president force him to resign? Absolutely not. I, I can understand how the president is frustrated with the recusal and the fact that the assistant, now Jeff Sessions has nothing to do with that assistant who appointed the special prosecutor. Uh, but we don't really know what they're investigating right now. And it wouldn't be smart for them to tell us if they were. So I, I think what I hope will happen, and I, I know what's going on, there's a lot of pressure on the White House now. They're starting to turn the, the guns on each other. Jeff Sessions is one of the most honorable people I've known. And he is really more passionate about the Trump agenda than anyone else I know. And if he stays there for the first four years or eight years, the president will be very proud of the Justice Department. So my hope is they can get together and talk about this. You know, firing Jeff Sessions is not going to solve the recusal problem now. And the assistant is going to end up as the acting attorney general. And he's basically the problem in, in this situation. So, I, I, again, Jeff Sessions has had my back a lot when I, st when I went out on a limb in the Senate. And he will get the president's back, too. So the president needs to know who his friends are.